Thank you, buddy. Thank you. So we're here today to speak about the new EGS location, Wonder, Wonder Water. I'm here with Mr. Brad Rubin, who's the president of Eurogeo Surveys and also the director of the Euro Geological Survey of Ireland. And I'm just here, we're here to speak a little bit about the new publication. So, Mr. Brad Rubin, uh, Wonder Water is a collection of amazing locations uh, across Europe which focuses on the importance of uh, groundwater. Can you just tell me a little bit more about um, what this publication is, is about? Well, it, thanks, Woody. It's the latest in our series of, of EGS books, and really it's to try and popularize geology, to try and make it more understandable to the general, general public, to the man in the street. Okay. Uh, we've got a lot of very technical work on our geological surveys, a lot of very involved projects, we the EU, uh, and even internationally. But what these publications do, following on from the one on, on cooking, geology at the table, mm -hmm. following on from minerals in your life, is they put into everyday language to put into ordinary context to some of the aspects of what we do and underlie really the importance of geology to, as we say, to the man industry. Exactly. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so Wonder Water helps us discover the world of groundwater resources, which we know is essential to our everyday life, um, but often this is forgotten. So. What do you think is the most important message of this? Well, the most important message is just that. It's just the importance of water underground, or as we call it, groundwater. People think of water as something that just comes out of a tap, like the same way as a heap of milk is something that comes in a car. You know, it's what's behind that. And up, in, up to 75% of our water is dependent ultimately on groundwater across Europe. In my own country, in Ireland, in certain counties, 100% of the water supply comes from underground, in the groundwater. There's a real advantage in that. You know, we actually use sand to filter water. If you think of it, the water that's coming from underground is actually filtered, it's passing through the strata. These aren't underground lakes, don't forget. It's contained within fractures, within the sandstones, within the limestones. So it's actually a pure, better, more potable water supply if it is protected. So it can really be used, it can really be valuable, but the role of the geologists in this case is often to identify it, to recognize it, but more and more to work with the authorities to protect it, to put in place protection schemes so you understand how broad they need to be, how thick is the soil cover. And this is a vital part of uh, the Water Framework Directive from the EU. We had what they call the Groundwater uh, Subdirective or Daughter Directive. And this is where the members of the different geological service, the members of the EU, where they actually work on groundwater definition and protection. And that's the critical message really for the ministry is the water that water comes from not just the sky, but the water you're drinking comes from other water. Exactly. Okay. And the final question I have for you. So as the director of the Geological Survey of Ireland, um, are there any places in your country where you could um, suggest to the general public where they should visit? Related to, related to the book. Well, that, that's a great question. Obviously, being from Ireland, I recommend you visit everywhere of course. in Ireland and stay as long as possible and spend as much as possible. But really, there's some fantastic areas. There's actually thermal baths in Vistian Varna, there's baths where they use even seawater as well as the groundwater in places like Sligo. But the area that's picked out in, in the book here, they talk about the limestone and the importance of limestone. We have our karst -like landscape named after the karst of Slovenia, but that landscape in the forest. In that area in Vistian Varna, as well as being really beautiful. Beautiful, the cliffs and more looking at the Atlantic, but in, in that in that stony, rocky limestone landscape is really beautiful. So if you're gonna go somewhere, go to Mr. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you.